you're here for a video on if I bought every Pokemon DS game off of eBay for $20. Does this cartridge actually hold every single DS game? Sign in, sit right down, please get ready to like and share this video, and we'll get right into it. This actually does have all of the Pokemon DS games in it. I bought this for around $12 to $17, and I was skeptical at first. I mean, look at this thing. It looks crazy. A Super Combo Pokemon Mario 208 and 1. So I got a few DSs together, uh, both the older DS models, newer DS, 2DS, and we're gonna test this out. First, let's look at the case though. This thing, uh, oh my God. It screams bootleg, doesn't it? Yeah, this is like super illegal, especially for people who don't own these games. But a lot of them aren't being sold commercially anymore for profit, unless you're a place like GameStop, even though GameStop's on the ropes, it still exists. Anyways, the point is most of these games have been decommissioned from being sold by the publishers themselves for profit. A lot of them can't even be sold on the eShop right now and uh, be purchased because the 3DS support has been discontinued and the Switch support has been discontinued. If you look on the back, you can actually see a list of, um, I guess, the important games they wanted to put on here. I don't know why, because it only goes up to 80, and then on the bottom you can see some more boxes of, of games. I, I guess this is supposed to attract you to buy this product. Yeah, it has a lot of good games in it. That's great. Uh, the only weird thing was the Ice Age 4 one on the back. Yeah, I, I don't think we should advertise that. On the side, you can see the name, Nintendo DS Multi-Game 208 and 1, which conflicts with the front because um, it actually refers to itself as somewhat of a new Nintendo 3DS game, but I believe that was just rebranding. The case itself is just clear, and then it comes with another case to hold the game itself. The game itself is just a DS game, and it looks alright if you look really close, but if you look at it far away, it looks like it's very jumbled and doesn't look that good. The game itself is just a typical DS cartridge with the ability to insert a micro SD card. This one in particular is a 16 gigabyte model. It's nothing special. It just holds the SD card for the insertion of the DS. Now, as you can see, I'm a pretty avid DS and 3DS collector. These are just some of the games I recently acquired and some of the ones that I like to display. Uh, but they're not all here. I have tubs and tubs of them down in the basement. For me, this is nothing new. I already own all of the games on this cartridge. So we're going to test it with a updated Nintendo 3DS to make sure that it actually can run and is compatible with the newest firmware. That's a big thing. If you can't even run the, the game itself, what's the point in buying it, right? So it absolutely works on 11.6.0-39U, I believe. And uh, I tested this also on a, a very older 3DS system. Now this system has issues reading cartridges, so if you happen to have an ancient uh, 3DS and you want to turn it into an emulation machine uh, where it doesn't have to read cartridges, it, it's not going to work. This had continuous errors, booting, I tried numerous times to try and get it to read the cart, but it just couldn't do it. So it's more hassle than it's worth, and it causes uh, a big problem. So if you have a very old system, please keep that in mind, you're going to have trouble with this. But, if you happen to have an old system that has no problems reading cartridges, like a Nintendo DS XL, then I would strongly encourage you get this. You don't have to go out and buy a 3DS. You can see all the games on this list. Some of them are much more appealing than others. Um, there's no question. I'm not really sure why they even put half of these games on here. I could have gone without them. Like Transformers, Ben 10, come on man. Like. And, are you, are you serious? And there's so many Naruto and, and uh, Dragon Ball Z games. Not that they're bad, it's just like, the, there's a lot of filler here. Uh, the long and the short of it is, you're likely buying this either for the Marios, the Pokemons, the Kirbys, maybe Zelda, and a couple other one-off games. So I decided to test almost every game that I could on multiple systems. Um, not only the 3DS, the 2DS, DS Lite, to ensure that 
the compatibility will work and yes it absolutely works the first thing that i wanted to test would it be able to hold the save file doesn't have a a battery in it does it write to the sd card or does it write to some type of internal memory and it does indeed write to the sd card so you can save your game and you can start it up on a completely different system and you can check to see if it continues over and carries over your save file and it does and um, in order to reset your game so that you're not constantly turning your system on and off all you have to do is press all the face buttons and L and R at the same time and it'll reset it back to the menu and you can select what game you want to play from there so that's very very nice and a shortcut that you would want to know about that they do not explain to you there's no manual that comes with this so it's just up to you to understand that stuff I tested multiple Pokemon games to ensure that they actually launched on here and so I went ahead and recorded several of them for you uh, to view this one being I believe Pokemon Black 2 and so Black and White 2 uh, work you can start them up, you can play through the full game. And uh, something that is continuously requested of me is the question on whether or not you can trade. And yes, these games do work with trading. So essentially, you could take over digital uh, versions of your Pokemon that are in ROM form, put them onto this SD card, and trade them over and keep them with you. So if you're somebody who didn't have money for a long time, but now you have enough money to buy legit versions of the games, you could do that. For example, being able to play through Pokemon uh, Platinum, Black and White 2, uh, getting those Pokemon up, getting whatever Pokemon you wanted from that, and being able to transfer them all the way up through to Pokemon Home and then finally on to Pokemon Sword and Shield. That is a viable option with this. Would they be legit enough to play online with? That's a good question, and I would err on the side of caution. I would be uh, shocked if they were. The touchscreen features work with these ROMs and this game system. That's another big thing because if it didn't, you couldn't play half the games. So what I wanted to do was actually run through this on, um, again, several systems and actually run through uh, a solid amount of several of these games to show you that they actually work. So I think one of the easiest ways to display the lag time, the latency, the frames, and all of that is just run through a Super Mario level. Now this is on a Nintendo 2DS, uh, so you know, bear with me. This was the easiest thing to record with uh, because it actually showed both of the screens at the same time so that I didn't have to keep splitting it from the clamshell design. Although I would strongly suggest that you don't get necessarily a 2DS, uh, but uh, Nintendo DS XL. Now you can find them on eBay for much, much cheaper than any type of 3DS that is for sale right now. Even some of the 2DSs uh, would be more expensive than a Nintendo DS XL. The XL is very, very large it gives you a lot of screen real estate and while the 2ds will work with 3ds games and is somewhat future proof uh, nintendo are no longer supporting the 3ds so it doesn't really matter unless you have specific 3ds games that you personally would like to play which is why i'm strongly suggesting that if you're going to purchase this type of cart specifically that you buy it for a uh, ds model and you get the extra real estate you get a bigger screen and you get it for much cheaper by sacrificing the 3DS support and compatibility. In the future, I have no doubt in my mind, if it doesn't exist already, that there is going to be a 3DS version of this cartridge where you can put in a miniature SD card and then just play all sorts of Nintendo 3DS games as well. Now, the 3DS games are much, much bigger than DS games, so it will require a bigger cartridge. Uh, it, in terms of size capacity not the actual size my point is and what i'm trying to get at here is that after playing a few rounds of mario kart i felt that my hands were extremely uncomfortable with the 2ds and you would likely probably feel the same way even though this isn't necessarily a review of the console itself i've already talked about the 2ds uh whatever you have works is what i'm trying to get at the games work fine this is just rom versions of the games this is a rom it was written to the sd card and you have a program running it on your 2ds this is original hardware running rom versions of the games instead of having one specific cartridge for each game you just have a cartridge that hosts all of these games which is all right i guess i i don't know maybe you're a stickler maybe you're a collector maybe you would like to have these cartridges individually in the boxes individually which hey i can't knock you you saw my collection 
And for that, then this might not be the best thing. But if you're a collector and you don't want to lose your cartridges and you want to keep them all in pristine condition and um, keep them together, you could just buy this cartridge and potentially you could have all these games on the go. Or you could likely write over what's on there and put your own files in it if you are feeling a little bit uh, more adventurous. You can see I start up and I test a few more games outside of some Pokemon games, outside of some Mario's, and you can see that they run just fine. The um, the frame rate, the ability to actually load them into uh, the Nintendo DS program and launch it, it works just fine. I have yet to even encounter a single one that just didn't work. And some of these games require full motion video to play, and, and again, they, wor they work well. There's no, uh, there's no cartridges here that require some third-party software. Now, if you happen to have like a DS of sorts uh, that requires you to use some type of external hardware in a game, for example, there used to be a version of Guitar Hero where it would give you a secondary thing to use in association with the game that you would clamp on to the secondary slot of the DS, you wouldn't be able to do that. You wouldn't be able to play that game because you don't have that secondary portion. So if there's something that is external that is required for the DS, uh, you will clearly need that external part to play the game. Uh, but if you happen to have that, and you happen to have a DS that accepted that secondary slot, you possibly could run it from the ROM. Would you want to? Is this why you bought it? To play Guitar Hero on it? I doubt it. You could probably buy Guitar Hero for much, much cheaper on eBay, but hey, it's there. So once again, I just wanted to run through the games and show you that this device does work very, very well, especially for the old DS Pokemon games. It's really great to go down memory lane and not have to carry around these very, very expensive Pokemon games uh, with me. Uh, GameStop, places that resell games, eBay, uh, you could end up spending 30 to 40 dollars per game uh, depending on which type of game you're trying to get versus just buying this for under 20 dollars and having them all is it illegal absolutely this is piracy it encourages piracy yada 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 is it illegal to own a copy of all of your games on one cartridge to be able to take with you and not be afraid of losing them no it's not if you already own or owned all of these games at one point in time and you're not doing this to try and make profit, you're not writing ROMs and you're not selling these things to make a profit off of someone else's work, I can't potentially say that you're breaking some law and Nintendo's going to kick down your doors. But if you feel that worried about it, please feel free to consult your attorney. At the end of the day, it's all about your conscience. Do you think you're really affecting Nintendo's sales by buying games they don't push or sell anymore? That's on you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will give you a link to purchase this down in the description below. Again, you can trade online, you can battle online, at least with the specific cartridge I purchased, and uh, you need to be careful where you get this from. Make sure it's a reputable seller and be patient. It will take a long time to arrive in many cases. Now, I've been your host, Bruno Mario, and I'm signing out. I'd really appreciate it if you took the time out to like and share this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you've seen these devices before. And let me know what you think about this device. Is it worth the money or is it worth less? I'll see you guys in the next video.